Right now we want to get to the final segment of the program, Women at the Forefront. And today we have a young lady with us in studio this morning. She is Susan Mwende, who is the Director of Green Economy Initiatives as well as Dell's Corner Enterprises. Hi, Susan. Hey. Good morning Good and morning. welcome. Thank you. We're glad to have you this morning. And maybe you could start by giving us the social media handles. Our viewers can also interact with you on the socials. Uh, at, at Facebook, Suzy Palita Mwende. Mm -hmm. Uh, on Twitter at Sujian. All right. So check her out if you feel you want to, uh, you know, get some form of empowerment to our young girls out there. You can always interact with her on that platform. Now let's just start with the fact that you were Miss Environment Kenya in Embu County. Tell us a bit about that. Well, that was 2017. Yeah. I was representing Embu mm -hmm. for the um, Miss Environment Kenya. And I won. Yes. From there, I, that's where I started my green economy initiatives, mm -hmm. basically dealing with environmental matters and wildlife con 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 conservation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was that experience for you? You know, holding that title for a whole county. Uh, it was awesome. It was challenging at the same time. Mm -hmm. I overcame the challenges. Um, my county was supportive then. Yeah. Basically, I enjoyed being crowned Miss Environment Embu County. And speaking of environment, it's something that you seem to be quite passionate about, given that you, I see you are, you like you know, stories involving wildlife, the environment, gender-based violence. And let's start with that bit of environment. What is it that geared you towards, you know, being very conscious about the environment? Okay. In my growing years, when I was young, I really loved tree planting. But I didn't have um, uh, the support that I needed from my community. Mm -hmm. Because having grown from Mount Kenya region where logging was so much practiced, I felt the need to reclaim our forest mm -hmm. and also to support our country in achieving the 10% forest cover mm -hmm. for the Vision 2030. Mm -hmm. That's what geared me to want the environment and also for going through for of participating or competing in the Miss Environment Kenya 2017. Okay. And as you try to, you know, get the word out there, how has it been, you know, talking to the people about, you know, just creating awareness about the environment which led to your initiative, the Green Initiative? Mm. Well, sometimes it's challenging mm -hmm. because, you see, you have to convince people that you need to spare some part of your land to plant uh, trees. You need to care for them. It's, it's not really easy. Because again, uh, most people don't get the information, the right information they need to get on tree yes. planting or their forestation. Mm -hmm. Most people want to plant trees, then after three or two years, they cut down without tree mm -hmm. Yeah. And looking also at the county governments, what do you feel they can do to just help with this whole conversation about um, tree planting especially, and also going out and teaching the people about conservation and ways to go about conservation? Okay, I would think uh, the CEC is involved, the CEC in, the environment in all the counties would uh, uh, do campaign and awareness, mm -hmm. especially on Mazingira Days and the World Environmental Days. Okay. At, at least each county to have a day that every uh, resident or citizen in that county is mm -hmm. planting trees. Okay. Yeah. And that will go a long way just helping with the conversation process. Yeah. Now, let's talk a bit about wildlife as well. How does it come into this whole uh, conversation about you as a person and in terms of uh, conservation? Um, first, I've participated in a walk, uh, partnered with Jim, Jim Justice Nyamu. He's the director uh, Elephant Neighbor Center. Mm -hmm. My first walk with him that took about that four days from Nairobi to Malthabit. Uh, it was about uh, ivory belongs to elephant. We were campaigning against the the killing of elephants mm. for their ivories. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, wildlife and environment goes hand in hand. Okay. The moment you you go to the forest, you go doing logging, you misread the wildlife, and that links to the conflict, human and wildlife conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And so far, do you feel in your efforts to just try to bring more awareness about the environment and in our, our wildlife, has the, has you seen the, have you uh, seen the impact that your drive has had on the population and especially the people that you interact with? Yeah, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly in central Kenya, Kirinyaga, I've partnered with Ambassadors of Nature Kenya. Mm -hmm. We're doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So far, you have felt the impact. Yeah. Now, as you go about this, I see you also um, channel, uh, you need bring up conversation around gender-based violence. Yeah. Where did that stem from? Okay, that one is a new organization mm -hmm. that will be launched soon. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, the name is Umundu Artism. They Take that again. Umundu Artism. Mm -hmm. so it's a CBU in Embu. Uh, they're, they're, they're still in the process of registration. But they hope to launch in, in a month's time. Mm -hmm. And they, they requested a partnership with us. Because apart from tree planting and wildlife, we also talk to the community mm -hmm. about gender-based violence. Yes. Yeah. And what form of gender-based violence do you feel has you know, been most prominent and especially you're looking to help eradicate? Um, uh, both, both, for both gender. Mm -hmm. Gender-based violence, it's not one gender-sided. There are men who are battered by their wives. And we see mostly, uh, it, it's not really feminism or mm -hmm. fe feminist, but we see men are not represented. Yes. So I hope in this case, our organization will partner them in representing the men All who right. are facing the gender-based violences in their marriages. All right. And you know, we we're just having that conversation yesterday about gender-based violence against men. Yeah. And you know, it is not as spoken about as, you know, uh, violence against women is. And we're glad you're actually just trying to bring that conversation to the table. Now, in all that you do, I mean, what are so, some of those values that guide your day-to-day -to, -day to just make sure when it comes to how you uh, deal with your campaigns involving wildlife, the environment, also looking at, you know, gender-based violence, that, you know, you have a certain set of values that guide your day-to-day when it comes to these particular initiatives? One, humility. You need to be, you need to, to humble yourself because meeting people, partnering with you, mm -hmm. sponsoring with you, it's not really easy. You need to convince mm -hmm. them that they need to invest in your projects. Mm -hmm. The other thing is confident. I'm confident in everything that I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, maybe a young person is watching you out there this morning and they're wondering how you got started with these two businesses. I mean, in as much as you, they're about creating awareness, oh, you're also in business, you're also an entrepreneur. Tell us a bit about, you know, how you were able to set yourself up to set up these businesses, and especially given that you're a very young girl you, and uh, you're in this millennial age. Well, uh, I got support from my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate him. Gift. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was I was working at uh, David Carey Law Firm. Mm -hmm. I got challenges and I quitted. Mm -hmm. So I approached him and I was like, I would love to get into business, but I, I wasn't sure which business. Mm -hmm. So I got a friend who trained me on online business, mm -hmm. Jumia. Especially I'm a vendor with Jumia. Mm -hmm. I did with other platforms as well. It's not really easy. You need to be it to be patient mm -hmm. for the business to catch up and mm. especially during the COVID-19 yes. pandemic. It's been really difficult for us because local imports and local products were not really available. So patient mm -hmm. and, and working you know, Speaking smart. of COVID-19, what are some of those lessons that you feel you have learned, one, as an entrepreneur and also looking at these campaigns that you have been on to just make sure that, you know, if that a time comes that you know another pandemic hits the world, your business and your initiatives will not be affected as they may have been affected during this time. One, I appreciate technology that has enabled us to have online marketing mm -hmm. like Facebook, on Twitter, IG. Uh, one challenge that I faced is uh, discipline and saving. Yeah, you know you want to go on Friday, you want to go out. You need to attend a friend's birthday, mm -hmm. so you misspend. One thing I've learned is saving, discipline saving in mm -hmm. business is really required. So discipline has, will go a long way in helping any young entrepreneur out yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Now, I, you're also quite passionate about taking up leadership positions, especially in the political arena, and especially mm -hmm. for our young girls. What do you think discourages our young girls to, take, to you know, navigate towards this direction? Uh, I would say... 
Mm -hmm. What do I say? You see, most most girls, and especially from my community, uh, it's about self-esteem. So mm -hmm. they are not encouraged. They think it's all about the leadership is about men. It's a men thing. So being a youth leader, I, I encourage my young girls and friends to take up those positions, mm -hmm. to arise, to be brave, and to face the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. Don't fear because of your gender. Yeah. Remember, we're talking with Susan Mwende. She is the director of Green Economy Initiatives as well as Adele's Corner Enterprises. And speaking of Green Economy Initiatives, this is what you have been using to just keep your campaigns going. Yeah. Or about the environment and the wildlife. Yeah. Now, for our young viewers this morning who are wondering how they can get started with such initiatives, what forms of support do you think, or rather you got, to just help you um, get these initiatives in place in terms of um, knowing where to go, getting the necessary information, and what channels to best use for these initiatives? One, they need to register the group. Mm -hmm. The registration comes first. They need to go to the Ministry of, uh, of Environment, learn a lot, and see wh whether they want an organization mm -hmm. uh, that that will not be limited to a county. Then from there, they need to partner with other environmental groups within their region for their support. All right. So seek all the necessary support that yes. you feel you need to help you look at this journey. Now, as also we draw the conversation to a close, when it comes to gender-based violence, we have seen it, you know, just go up especially with this pandemic uh, looking at policies that we have in place how can we best improve to just make sure that we are protecting especially our children who are not really in positions where they can really air what they are going through okay according to, uh, in my opinion uh, gender-based violence is caused by mental health and depression so I think the government should consider mm -hmm. mental health also as a pandemic, mm -hmm. especially now that we've had a difficult time in our country. Yes. They should check on that. And also in, in the marriages, people need to talk out, you need to speak out to your spouse mm -hmm. and understand one another. All right. Find proper channels of communication yeah. that are going to help you when it comes to le finding a, pro a, a healthy let out, especially yeah. during this pandemic. Yeah. All right. Now, um, finally, maybe your word of advice to our young viewers this morning who want to get onto this entrepreneurial journey. As you have said, it's not easy, especially with this pandemic. You've had your fair share of challenges, but mm -hmm. you are here. Yeah. How would you like to encourage them this morning? Well, they rise up. Mm -hmm. The time is now. It's never tomorrow. Use your retro savings. Start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Start with something. Know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Know the business you want to start. Don't wait to save. You need a capital. You don't need a capital. You need the little money you have mm -hmm. to buy what you need and sell. Okay. Yeah. All marketing right. also. You do a lot of marketing to friends, to family, everywhere. And they're going to go along with helping you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Maybe you could remind us your social media handles once more before we get to close the conversation. And uh, the programs that obvious can also keep interacting with you on the socials. Thank you. On Facebook, Suzy Parita Mwende. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, at Suji. All right. There you have it. Thank you so much for coming through. We do hope, you know, all our young girls who are watching us this morning, she is young. She's just 25 years old and doing phenomenal things here, all about protecting the environment or wildlife, encouraging these conversations around gender-based violence that we need to improve on. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you. We wish you the best as you continue with all you're doing. Thank you so much. Karibu sana. So right now we want to have a quick look at what is happening on social media. And I can see so much is happening. And especially in light of the conversations that we had right here about um, the first one was involving, you know, um, uh, uh, regulation of alcohol consumption, especially during this time. We had the CEO of Nakada. I will be reading some of your comments in a bit. Also conversations around that particular link that we got with Sarafina Ruby about um, uh, what is happening at the Milimani courts right now and finally about physiotherapy uh, that conversation we've just had I will be sampling some of your tweets but before I get to have a look at what is happening on my end of things let's check in with Miss D what's a guan on your end <laughs> 